Hey ladies, it's Sasha Rosie here, Holistic Womb Specialist. And today we're gonna to talk about signs that you need a hormone reset, okay? Because so many women are so confused when it comes to their hormones, their bodies, they don't even know like what's going on, what's normal, what's not. A lot of people just weren't taught that. So we're gonna talk about it all today, okay? First and foremost, of course, before you do anything, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, I talk about topics related to reproductive health, women's health, hormones, all that great stuff um, from a holistic point of view, okay? So, and if you have not, go ahead and like the video so that the algorithm can push it out to more and more women, okay? We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. I think we have like 13 more left. <laughs> so we're almost there. So be sure to subscribe and also share the video as well, all right? So when it comes to hormones, right, a lot of women don't understand what they are. Um, they just know this, you know, some women do understand like, you know, um, when their hormones are out of balance because maybe they've heard it or they take a test to confirm it. And um, a lot, you know, but typically what I see is that women that have reproductive health issues, unless it's PCOS, they don't really focus on hormonal balance, which is at their own detriment. Like for example, women that have fibroids, don't worry about hormonal um, imbalance, which is again at that detriment. They don't understand that the hormonal imbalances in their body cause the fibroids. They don't, people that have um, endometriosis don't understand that the hormonal imbalances that occurred in your body created the, the um, environment for endometriosis, for fibroids to thrive, uh, for um, ovarian cysts to thrive and so many other health conditions, even thyroid issues to thrive, okay? Even breast cancer to thrive. So you see how important it is um, to understand your body and understand what's normal and what's not so that you can, you know, um, really address this sooner than later, right? So we don't have to develop a full-on reproductive health condition in order to, you know, in order to understand that something's wrong, right? There's imbalances in the body. Okay, but if you're already there, this is gonna benefit you greatly, okay? So hormones work as chemical messengers and they're produced by glands in your endocrine system, okay? So like your thyroid, your ovaries, your adrenal glands, like, you know, um, the hormones travel through your bloodstream, right? And they're influenced and regulate your, your bodily processes, your vital, like how your body functions, okay? So that's, this is why when your hormones are out of balance, you as a whole are out of balance, right? So some key hormones may include estrogen and progesterone. Most women have heard about that. Testosterone, women still have that as well. Cortisone levels, thyroid hormones, insulin, which is the one people don't think too much about unless they're diabetic, which it doesn't matter, you should. So a lot of women have insulin issues and they haven't, you know, they're, they, they're not diabetic, right? You can still have um, um, insulin levels that are, you know, high or be insulin resistant or even close to that point, okay? So these hormones influence every aspect of your health. I'm talking about from your energy levels to your, metabol your metabolism, to your brain activity, to your mood, because a lot of you guys are complaining about also brain, brain fog, which again is a hormonal issue, okay? Um, your menstrual cycle, your fertility, your reproductive health, and so many things, right? If your hormones are not in balance, you can't even sleep right. You can't even, like, you can't even have a good night's sleep. You can't, you, your energy levels are impacted, right? Your productivity is impacted. It's so many things that are impacted when you have imbalanced hormones. And a lot of people think that that is normal. It has to be their life. And I didn't even th talk about perimenopause symptoms. That too, not, that's not normal. That's not normal, right? But that's, that indicates that there's a lot of toxicity in the body. That indicates that there's a hormone imbalance in the body. You don't hit 35 or whatever age, right? And then all of a sudden you just, your hormones start going crazy. No, that's due to your, the years and years and years of your imbalances accumulating, okay? So the, the, if you don't take care of this stuff, it gets worse later on. It could be next, by next year, by, you know, in a few years. And a lot of, it, a lot of women do not think about their health long-term and that's to their own detriment, okay? That's why they end up with these serious health issues. You don't understand that these things were developed in your body 10 years ago. What you do now matters. Most women that follow me are in their 30s, 40s, early 50s. What you do now is setting yourself up for the health, your health in the next 30, 40 years. What you're doing now, what you're not doing now, okay? So when one hormone is out of balance, it disrupts the entire system. 
So that's why you don't hyper focus on one hormone because when one is out of balance, it's gonna knock the others out of balance as well. You don't just focus on one. That's the, that's a lot of that's a problem a lot of people do. They're looking for a pill or a supplement or something to fix just one hormone. No, that's not how it works. That's not how you get to the root cause of the issue. Okay. So when your hormones are balanced, you you have amazing menstrual cycles that are not no more than three to four days that are light, easy. You know that are just they're not they're not chaotic they're not heavy they're not clots they're not you know um they're not all of these symptoms bloating this and that right you have more energy you sleep better you just you just feel more alive your your mental clarity is better you're you're fertile for as long as possible like you know for a longer period of time women that have balanced hormones okay also you just feel more in tune and more aligned with your body now the unfortunate part is that majority of women in our in our day and age today are do not have balanced hormones and this is why a lot of women are blocked off from their creativity a lot of women are on anxiety depression medication a lot of women have reproductive health issues and they're not happy and i want to challenge you to be the minority be the woman that is at her best that feels her best, right? That is that that is creative, that you know, that is connected with her body, that's in flow, that's living her best life. I challenge you to be the highest version of yourself. And that is not you with imbalanced hormones. It's not. Okay? So even a small imbalance in the body can make a huge difference, in case you guys don't know. Okay, so what are what are like some symptoms? Because it's important for you to understand the symptoms of hormonal imbalances. We're gonna go over a few. But the most popular, okay? You know, fibroids, you guys already know your body's way out of balance, right? Stubborn belly fat. Even if you're skinny everywhere and you, you're stubborn belly fat or just, you know, midsection, definitely. Irregular menstrual cycles, okay? Um, you have two cycles a month, you, you skip a cycle. Um, your cycles are just, you know, go for two, three weeks, right? For more than a week. PMS and PMDD. Prolonged menstrual cycles, and that's anything longer than four days. If you bleed for longer than four days, that's an imbalance, right? Um, painful menstrual cycles, breast tenderness, high blood pressure, decreased libido. These are all hormonal issues, and this, these are this all means that you need to reset, okay? High blood sugar, um, thinning hair. If you have bloating or any type of water retention, your body should not be retaining fluids, okay? That is an imbalance. Heavy menstrual cycles, passing clots. Allergies, yes, allergies definitely is an imbalance on the body, okay? Skin issues such as heavy acne, eczema, you know, um, rashes, hives, things like that. Insomnia, you're not able to sleep or it's hard for you to go to bed, right? It's, it's Or you wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to bed, right? Or you wake up in the middle of the night, you know, in general. Um, that's That, that indicates insomnia. Um, perimenopause symptoms, that's never normal, ever or menopausal symptoms, that's never normal, ever, okay? Insulin resistance, autoimmune disorders, yes. That's a that's hormonal issue. Um, cancer, like breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, get that extreme, absolutely. These result in what you, what's called estrogen dominance. They, they, the precursor to breast cancers and you know, um, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, estrogen dominance, okay? That's a hormonal imbalance. Yeast infections or BV, imbalance in the body, mineral deficiencies, any type, anemia, okay, weight issues, whether you're struggling to lose weight or struggling to gain weight, diabetes or pre-diabetes, infertility, we already said fibroids, PCOS, ovarian cysts, blocked tubes, heartism, and that's when the hair is under your chin, you grow hair under your chin, Mood disorders such as anxiety, depression, endometriosis, adenomyosis, ovarian cysts, alopecia, and the list goes on. Or if you've ever been on birth control, that and you've never properly detoxed the the, the toxins in your body from the birth control, that means that your system is out of balance. Right? We're dealing with lots, lots of toxic overload. Okay? So this this is just general, but um, you're probably wondering how do I balance my hormones that if i had a penny for every time i got that question <laughs> how do i balance my hormones right that's what every woman, woman wants to know and here's the thing the better question to ask is how did my hormones become out of balance 
I'm telling you, that's a, much, that's a much better question to ask because you can go back to the beginning and course correct. A lot of you, like, understand wh when and how did my hormones become completely out of balance, right? You want to shift your perspective when it comes to that. You have to address the root cause of this stuff or the problem is going to be ongoing. So all of you ladies are looking for a special tea or special supplement <laughs> or a special product to get rid of your your hormonal imbalances, understand that the imbalance is still there. You may feel a little better for a little bit, but then the issue comes right back. You want to, like, aren't you tired, tired of that? Some of you guys have tried so many things to try to balance your hormones, but it has not worked because you're just trying random things and you're never addressing the root cause, right? You gotta get out of that looking for like microwave healing. That's not how the body works. I don't care how society is, right? Where we live in a microwave um, you know, society. Your body does not work that way. So understand that, right? It's, it's You have to address the roots in order to see a relief, okay? So there's no shortcut when it comes to healing your body. I'm here to tell you that right now. There is no shortcut. There is no shortcut. You can't just ignore everything and go straight to the uterus. A lot of women that have fibroids, for example, they just wanna, they just focus, they hyper focus on the uterus and that's the fibroid, that's it. They don't look at the, it being a full body issue. They don't look at that, right? So it's so important. So if your hormones are out of balance, you wanna address your gut health because yes, if you have hormonal imbalance or any of these issues that I read off, gut health is definitely, in, is, we're definitely dealing with a, di a digestive system that is backed up for sure. Okay, your day-to-day -day interactions. You want to assess the food that you're eating. Okay, your diet, your everyday diet, the level of joy in your life, your creativity. These are things you want to, you know, your um, your blood pressure, your blood sugar levels, um, the inflammation in your body. Because if we have these issues, we're definitely dealing with heavy loads of inflammation in the body. Okay, your stress levels, your elimination organs. Okay, and whether they're healthy or not, and whether they're working efficiently or not, because if you have a hormone imbalance, they're not working efficiently. Your nervous system, right? Like, there's so many things you want to look at when it comes to your hormones. The, you cannot ignore, when you, especially when you have reproductive health issues, you cannot ignore everything, just go straight to the fibroid. You have to address the body fully. And I didn't even talk about your body's natural detoxification process and also energetic blocks, emotional blocks in, that's buried in the womb space, that's buried in the body. Listen, your hormones are an ecosystem of a broader ecosystem, right? Again, it's, it's, there is no shortcut to just, I just balance my hormones. And I get the question all the time, how do you balance your hormones? How do you balance your hormones? And women don't understand, and listen, it's a full embodiment and full lifestyle. It's not gonna happen in one day, it's just not. Okay, so in the five, in, you know, in the five to seven minutes that you're with your doctor every every year, you cannot barely t scratch the surface when it comes to your gut health, when it comes to your, the inflammation levels, your elimination organs. Your they're not gonna they're not gonna even address all of that stuff with you because they haven't been taught all that stuff. Your nutrition, because we know that doctors barely know anything about nutrition, <laughs> right? That you cannot accomplish all of that with your doctor, with your functional, you know, med doctor, with your naturopath. You can, the time is not even there. Okay, the knowledge is also not there. Okay, so it's so important that you understand it does take some time to really fully embody this stuff. Now, we have an upcoming amazing program called the Hormone Reset Program. Okay, that is starting on October 1st. It's not an ongoing pro program, we've had it before, but it's not an ongoing program. So, our start date is October 1st, and it's the entire month of October. And we are actually getting to the root cause of these imbalances and addressing them so that you can tr transform your hormonal health. You can transform how you feel. You can transform the health of your entire body. We've had women, literally, we've had one woman who, one of our, one of our testimonials from, you know, our previous hormone reset program, she had PCOS and fibroids. And she noticed a, a huge reduction on her on her fibroid because she could she could see it she um she had a fibroid bulge as you could say right the fibroid bulge is like when your belly when your stomach is protruding due to fibroids she she saw that drastically like decrease she also saw her PCOS symptoms all was within like weeks all were gone we've had also had women that were literally bleeding again from we had a woman that was bleeding from nine to seventeen days heavy extremely heavy bleeding. She was dealing with major anxiety and depression. 
within a month of working with me, her cycles went from that heavy, having to be rushed to the emergency room all the time, to, to now three, two to three days, no clots, barely any pain, huge difference, much lighter, huge difference. When you're targeting, when you're making lifestyle changes, diet, the correct changes, and you're targeting your body on all angles, you're gonna see a huge difference. And this is how you can be able to shrink and get rid of the fibroid, right? It's so important. You can't, like I said, stick with your bad habits and think you're gonna take a pill and everything's gonna go away, right? So I'm so excited for this hormone reset program that we have coming up. If you have not registered, you're gonna wanna register, okay? You're gonna wanna be among a group of women who are getting getting rid of, who are transforming the health of their hormones, who are in, um, implementing, while implementing a hormone healing plan. This is what I'm gonna help you do. I'm gonna help you throughout the whole process in the program. And I'm so excited because again, the program has been highly successful in the past and women have been able to make massive changes within a very short period of time. And I know that this, in October, it's gonna be, our um, round in October is gonna be even more amazing. Even more amazing, okay? So I'm excited. If you are dealing with reproductive health issues or hormonal issues, perimenopause, um, menopausal issues, you need to be in our hormone reset program, okay? You need to be there, all right? If you have any questions, be sure to email me. If you have any questions about the program, be sure to email me. The link is in my, the link is in the description box. Also, if you want more information about our hormone reset program that is starting on October 1st, that the last day to register is the 30th, the 30th of September, click the link in my, in my caption. You can read more about it and also um, go ahead and sign up, okay? All right, so understand that your hormones are extremely important. It's important for you to be in balance. It's important as a woman. You, when you're not in balance, this affects every area of your life, okay? When you're, you're not gonna be in a flow state, your life is, you're gonna be in survival mode. Um, your life is gonna feel more overwhelmed when you have a hormonal imbalance. When your body is in balance, it affects your every, your, you, your full being as a woman. It affects every aspect of your life. It does, okay? So this is where a fully supportive program with levels of support, with community, with, you know, in a small container, this is where that is going to greatly benefit you, right? That's from a fully holistic approach that that's gonna um, make available to you the best outcomes, okay? You're not gonna, a lot of people have been, you know, seeing their, their, med, their functional med doctor for, you know, a year, months, a year, have not seen barely any progress, right? That's not gonna be you. That's not gonna be you. So check the program out, the Hormone Reset Program, and I cannot wait to work with you. Now, the, I always say this in, in every video, the best way to work with me, of course, is my Detoxify Your Wound Program. That's the highest level transformation, the best way to work with me. We have six months and three months because the time, number one, and because it's also like our best, it's our highest level transformation. Okay, but if you're not ready for the, it's not for everybody now. We don't accept everybody. If you're not ready for the Detoxify Your Wound program, you need to be in this Hormone Reset program. A lot of you guys have been suffering for months, for years, and you are, you know on an intuitive level that this is just not your best. This, this the type of life that you're living is just, would be so much better if you were, your body was healed and you felt more connected with yourself, okay? So let me know if you have any questions. You also put them below. And again, like and share this video and, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.